Although several engines have been around for a while, it is becoming increasingly clear that there are more efficient ways to provide the necessary power to transport our cars from point A to point B. Toyota believes that hydrogen power is the way to go and that its new engines will render electric vehicles obsolete. It is time to examine the development of Toyota's engines in more detail and discover some other factors that contribute to Toyota's position as a market leader. How does Toyota achieve this? And can Toyota's hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine replace electric vehicles? Let's find out. Toyota is pursuing a multifaceted strategy to being carbon neutral, and the Japanese automaker may find success with it. Toyota has been a pioneer in hybrid and plug-in hybrid automobiles since it introduced the groundbreaking Prius in 1997. These vehicles pave the way for the present electric vehicle boom. Despite its heritage, the Japanese company has been reluctant to embrace the all-electric trend head-on. The controversy surrounding Toyota's opposition to the switch to 100% electric is rather thought-provoking. The ban on gas-powered cars by 2035 has already been authorized by legislators in California, Australia, Canada, and the European Union. Automotive makers are under intense pressure to switch from gas to electric automobiles as efforts to reduce carbon emissions escalate. Toyota, meanwhile, publicly showed its disobedience by declining to ratify the COP26 agreement, which calls for the use of electric vehicles only by 2040. The corporation has purposefully dragged its feet on the issue, arguing that the rush to fully electric vehicles has left many important considerations out. Akio Toyota, the former CEO of Toyota, received a lot of flack for taking an unpopular position. Jaguar, a British luxury automaker, said publicly that it would go entirely electric by 2025, back in February 2022. Cadillac and Volvo have also stated that they will only sell electric vehicles after 2030. Toyota is in the news for appearing uninterested in a market where many rivals, including Honda, Ford, Mercedes, Volkswagen, and General Motors intend to phase out gasoline-powered vehicles in favor of electric vehicles. Toyota has a reputation for being among the first to adopt new technologies. So, taking this path surprised us. However, its justification is really compelling. Toyota worries that making the change over to all-electric vehicles will not be feasible anytime soon. Akio Toyota said that EVs are just overhyped and that having too many of them could be dangerous. His opinion is that the high price of electric vehicles, combined with the lack of a supporting infrastructure, renders their widespread adoption impossible. However, all of it is now hidden from the public because electric vehicles only make up approximately 1% of the global auto fleet. If the number of electric vehicles rises, reality will begin to set in slowly. The biggest issue to deal with when electric vehicles flood the market will be the demand for electricity to meet the load demand that electric vehicles will provide by 2030. The United States needs to expand power output by 40%. In other words, the current electricity supply chain needs to receive investments totaling around $100 billion. Even if some regions of Europe and Asia currently have sophisticated grids as a result of increased electric vehicle customer demand, it would still be far from enough if every car owner switched to electric. Akio Toyota has voiced reservations regarding electric cars, focusing instead on the necessity of hydrogen-powered technology in vehicles. Akio Toyota predicts that this new engine will destroy the entire EV market. Aside from the limited range of electric cars, he has also expressed concern over the environmental effects of battery production and disposal, as well as the lack of infrastructure for charging. Indeed, Toyota's arguments make a lot of sense. First, there is not enough power to support electric vehicles. Second, fossil fuels are the main source of electricity in the world. Therefore, Increasing the number of electric vehicles will not decrease emissions. Rather, it will just change their source. His detractors may all be mistaken based on Akio Toyota's assertion that carbon, not combustion engines, is the enemy. From broad views, it appears that electric vehicle adoption is not uniform worldwide. While certain markets like those in Europe and China move more quickly than others, the United States is a laggard. Then, there are markets that are far behind with little to no EV infrastructure, like Africa. This disparity suggests that the globe is not yet prepared to push forward the all-electric vehicle objective collectively. Toyota believes that switching to all-electric vehicles will leave a sizable number of its consumers completely in the dark. When an automobile is about to launch, you can hear the sound of the carburetors opening as the fuel pours into the chamber. Feel the power flow through your chest 
and just experience a complete burst of adrenaline. Electric vehicles just can't provide that, but the hydrogen-powered vehicle can because it operates in a similar manner. Nearly every corner in the country is home to a tiny local repair business. But as electric vehicles gain in popularity among customers, you won't really have that option any longer. You might be able to repair their electric engine by going online and watching a few YouTube videos. But honestly, it's strongly advised that you take it to a certified mechanic who is experienced with the most recent technology. The amazing thing about hydrogen-powered engines is that they're purely mechanical and quite similar to fuel-powered engines. That means the little neighborhood shops you feel safe bringing your cars to will be able to fix them. So, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that hydrogen is actually very combustible, which makes it kind of challenging to handle and store safely. Plus, burning hydrogen can produce nitrous oxide, which is another drawback. Now, when we look at Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality, it's honestly a lot more diverse. They're considering a bunch of different technologies to reach zero emissions, unlike almost all the other automakers who are basically putting all their trust in electric vehicles. This sort of mindset is starting to look pretty prophetic, especially now that European countries are searching for ways to cut down on their energy use because of the conflict in Ukraine and how it's affecting energy supplies. Actually, Switzerland has gone a step further by advising electric vehicle owners to only use their cars for emergencies, like running errands or going to the supermarket. And you know, this policy could even become law. There really is a path forward for hydrogen-powered cars. But honestly, it might end up being blocked by the dominance of electric vehicles. Still, hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles use some pretty advanced technology, and they've got a lot of potential. They also have a number of benefits over conventional electric vehicles, including a greater range and faster charging or refueling. However, for hydrogen-powered cars to become widely used, a number of technological developments are required. At the moment, it costs a lot and requires a lot of fossil fuel to produce hydrogen. Infrastructure for hydrogen refueling stations is also lacking. Most importantly, the popularity of non-hydrogen electric vehicles may be preventing hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles from taking off. People need a good reason to give up their Teslas. Therefore, until one is presented, hydrogen-powered cars might remain unpopular. Technology for hydrogen fuel cells has already been around for a while. It was created in the late 1,960 seconds to supply electricity for NASA's manned spaceflights. Since then, it has been refined and may currently be used to power a terrestrial vehicle in place of an internal combustion engine. An electrolyte membrane, an anode, and a cathode make up a conventional hydrogen fuel stack. While oxygen is fed to the cathode, hydrogen is fed to the anode where it is divided into protons and electrons. While the protons pass across the membrane and change into water, the electrons are compelled into a circuit producing electricity. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles have a reinforced tank of compressed hydrogen that travels through the fuel stack. In contrast to conventional EVs that are powered by a battery pack, the vehicle's electric motors are driven by this converted electricity, and only harmless water vapor is released from the exhaust. Finally, the decision is up to the consumer. 